Hi, welcome to the ASUG News Studio. My name is Tom Wilgum and we are broadcasting live from ASUG Annual Conference and Sapphire Now 2015. I'm very happy to have Neil Nicolaisen, the CIO of OC Tanner in, and he's going to talk about his approach to ERP customizations, implementations, and I think this is conversation is really relevant as we start looking at Business Suite on HANA, S4 HANA, as CIOs start to really start to figure out their future roadmap. So first, Neil, welcome to come in. Appreciate Thank you very you. much. So, first off, for those who don't know what OC Tanner, what it what does that your company do? OC Tanner delivers amazing employee recognition events and activities mm -hmm. uh, based on service awards or real-time performance. We've got a pretty large manufacturing capability and mm -hmm. design capability so that those recognition events are very meaningful for the employees. Mm -hmm. Our research shows that meaningful recognition results in much better employee engagement. Well, hopefully after this interview, I will get recognized for my work. You could only hope. <laughs> so, you're an SAP customer. Give us a little uh, snapshot of your environment. Sure, so OC Tanner first implemented SAP about 18 years ago okay. and has, over the years, done a significant number of significant customizations. Mm -hmm. And so I've been OC Tanner for about 16 months and what I inherited was a pretty non-standard SAP environment yep. where, and to be honest, We've got the full suite. We used very little of the suite because we'd actually built or customized our replica or our version of a lot of the SAP functionality. Okay. And so that's part of what I'm doing now is cleaning that up and getting to more of a standard code base so that we can, because I found that the less complexity, the greater my IT agility. Are you, wait, that's, that sounds like the SAP. Uh, uh, sure. I came up it with somewhere. it first. I should have trademarked it. So you told me that you know, the, this strategy that you have is, you know, you've obviously practiced it over the years. Talk to me a little bit about, you know, someone listening to this who's sure. maybe not where you are right now sure. or going through it. What are some of the, the precepts of this strategy you have? So in general, I divide my features, functions, activities, business rules, and business models into two general categories. One is the things that will create market differentiation for my organization. Mm -hmm. These are the things we're going to do better than anybody else in the sure. world. These are the things that deserve our innovation and creativity. They deserve uniqueness. We're going to do something unique and compelling that creates competitive advantage. Now, we can't be better than everybody else at everything. There are very few things that fall into this differentiating or innovative category. Most of the things fall into the category where they're mission critical. We can't live without them, but they will never create competitive advantage. Mm -hmm. The rules for those are, rather than deserving innovation, we adopt best practices, we standardize, and we simplify. That's how we optimize value with those activities. So when I look at ERP at OC Tanner, we're in the recognition business. There are a lot of mission critical activities that support meaningful recognition, sure. but they don't have to be unique, they don't have to be innovative, we don't have to invent anything. And so that's our opportunity to significantly standardize and simplify. We're in the process, process now of, in effect, re-implementing our SAP and doing it in a way where we change our unique approaches to things like pricing mm -hmm. or material routing or item management or catalog management or order management mm -hmm. and just doing a very clean, simple, straightforward implementation of, it, implementation of SAP. Mm -hmm. I'll give you one example. One of our software product platforms has about 1.2 million lines of code. The vast majority of that code is doing item, order, and catalog management. As a result, I've got software engineers and QA engineers that every day are managing and enhancing item, order, and catalog management. No, let's right. just use SAP Hybris, and I can free up that capacity, and in addition, significantly improve my agility and also, I think SAP Hybris is better at item order and catalog management and merchandising and, and website shopping experience personalization than I'll ever want to be or should be. And so that's an example of something we're doing now that I think will create significant long-term benefits for our company. So do you feel like you're, and that's great, thank you for the explanation sure. and the examples. Do you feel like you are poised for, you know, as we're hearing more about S4 HANA, Suite mm -hmm. on HANA, 
Do you feel like you're poised now to take advantage of some of these things maybe a little bit quicker? Sure, because I think anytime you try and carry customizations through a technology transformation or upgrade path, there it's an anchor that you've got to drag around with you. So the cleaner, the more standard we are, the simpler it is, the easier it is, and the less work it takes to adopt new technology. That's why I say, and I did invent this, not SAP. Yes. Complexity is the enemy of agility. Mm -hmm. And so I want to simplify, simplify, simplify because at the pace at, pace at which technology is changing, I want to take advantage of those technology innovations without having to just stand off and say, I wish I could, but it'd be too much work. Right, that is a great point to end on. Neil, thank you very much thank for coming in. Thank you very much. In. Enjoy your week here in Orlando. Thank you. For more customer stories, please go over to asugnews.com. We'll